Former IMF chief Dominique Strauss-Kahn is spending his first full day out of jail at an upscale Manhattan high-rise. But he may not want to get too comfortable there. For now, the man accused of sexually attacking a hotel housekeeper is living in this building near ground zero, much to the chagrin of some of the tenants. Everybody gets pushed out. They let the finance scumbags in and they raise the rent. I thought they were filming a movie. And when I, I had my dog, and so when I left the building, we were really bombarded with the press. And I had no idea. We had no idea. The residents really did not. Strauss-Kahn isn't expected to be here long. The judge who granted him bail says he should only stay here for a couple of days until he finds a more suitable location where he could be monitored and not disturb those around him. Experts say that could be hard to accomplish in New York. Right now, he's going through a lot of attention in his life, which is exactly the type of attention a building does not want to see. However, he says he does have some options. If I were him, I would be looking at buildings that perhaps have private entrances and or garage entrances so he can come in and out of the building escorted in a uh, private car. It's not clear what his place is like, but in general, rent for two-bedroom apartments starts at $4,200 a month. But they do have nine-foot ceilings, bay windows, and walk-in closets. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.